All right, boys. So this is the 1999 Ford Ranger XLT that I've been working on. Uh, just to recap, I bought this thing for free. We haven't really done any investigating work other than looking into the interior, seeing that it's in pretty good condition. Uh, and it definitely needs some work on the outside and some vacuuming on the inside, new bed liner, all that good stuff. However, I took the I took the wheel well out. Uh, I removed the starter because uh, just another recap. Uh, before we even got this thing in my driveway, I tried starting this this engine. It would kind of just sit there and buzz. The starter would. So we determined that it was seized up. So we removed the spark plugs um, and then started it. And well, we tried starting it before um, I put WD-40 in the cylinders. It would kind of buzz and spin over just real slowly. Uh, so then we put WD-40 in there, let it sit overnight. We came back the next morning and it did the exact same thing. The engine would spin over freely. Uh, the starter had kind of a good amount of resistance. It would sit there and buzz and click and then catch, spin it over two or three times and then sit there, buzz and tick and all that good stuff. Um, so then we, anyways, we got the truck over here. I finally got the starter off. Um, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it apparently so we're gonna go to advanced auto get it checked out uh, and we'll see but just a just a heads up guys and this is the four-wheel drive model so it has the it has the uh, front axle there front drive terrain this thing's a pain if you have big hands like I do, big meaty fat hands like I do, it'll be a pain even with the right tools to take that off. I thought it was a good, a better and easier approach to just take this tire off and this wheel well out. And then that way you can kind of get over top of it. That's about where it would sit. I can just barely put my hand over there. I can put my whole hand in that hole rather than just twiddling my thumbs uh, underneath the thing. So, so uh, if you need to change your starter on a four-wheel drive model, always look for the best approach and go from there. But uh, yeah, so we can also examine the brakes. Um, they're looking pretty bad, but honestly better than what I would think for a truck that's been sitting for two plus years. They spin freely. Um, definitely, uh, I mean, I'm definitely gonna need to replace these eventually. There's pad, they have pads, all that good stuff. The calipers themselves work, um, but yeah. So, but once we get this thing running, uh, and make sure it, it's running smoothly and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to do some detailing work uh, as well as replacing the brakes, uh, replacing air filters, all that good stuff. And then we'll go from there. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this series, please support the channel. Uh, yeah. Have a good one.